VirtualDub is a simple, free piece of software that makes compiling time lapses on Windows easy, with the possibility of creating 4 and 8K time lapses. First, you will need to download the two files linked in the description below. I'm going to download and install the XVID codex first, clicking next through each of the prompts. Next, I will download and extract VirtualDub. This program does not require installation and can be run directly out of its folder by clicking the virtualdub.exe. Transfer your time lapses off your camera into a single folder on your computer. For VirtualDub to recognize that your images are one time lapse, the suffix of each picture needs to count up in a numerical order. If they are a jumble of letters and numbers, it will not recognize it as a sequence and will not import. However, don't worry as most cameras already follow this convention. Once launched, navigate to your time-lapse and select the first frame. Under Video, open the Filters window. Here, I will add a resize filter and check Configure. This is where the resolution of the video will be set. Resolution defines the number of individual dots an image is made up of. The most common resolution, HD, has a size of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Most cameras capture very high resolution images which are larger than the size of a standard video. This means the time lapse needs to be scaled down to fit. Make sure you check letterbox slash crop to size. For this time lapse, I'm going to set the resolution to 4K, 3840 by 2160. I will also check absolute pixels and put the width dimensions into the top dialog box. With the resolution set, I can press OK on both windows. Frame rate is the number of images which are shown on screen in one second. You will want to set this to 24, 25 or 30 FPS depending on where you live or where you are uploading to. If you live in North America, 30 FPS is most common, whilst in Europe and other countries, 25 FPS is more common. To adjust the frame rate, it can be found under Video, Frame Rate. Check the Change Frame Rate checkbox. I'm going to set my frame rate to 25 frames per second. Finally, under Video Compression, I will select the XVID codec and click Configure. This slider adjusts the amount of compression that will occur on export. The lower the number, the less compression, and the higher the number, the more compression. In short, the lower the compression, the cleaner the final file will look. However, it will take longer to render and produce a larger file size. I have found that a value of 2 works very well for YouTube. Now that I have all my settings set, I can save the video out as an AVI and let the software process the time lapse. If you have any questions about this process, feel free to ask in the comments below. For more tutorials like this one and other more advanced post-production videos, check out our YouTube channel.